Hello there, Nude Sticks was one of my favorite brands in 2019, so I wanted to film an overview with all of their products I've tried. I've had hundreds of messages and comments about Nude Sticks since the early days of my channel. So many of you were encouraging me to get into their products because they're creamy formulas in stick form designed to multitask, smudge on quickly, and create a natural look. Ticks every box for me. But for a long time, it wasn't a brand that jumped out at me because as I later realized, Sephora Australia didn't have every Nude Sticks product line at the time. And the shades I had seen seemed like they'd be better suited to deeper skin tones than mine, colors are quite pigmented so they seemed a bit intense. Then I stumbled across one of the Nude Sticks co-founders, Taylor Frankel, and her YouTube channel. She films great, quick and easy tutorials, always looks gorgeous, and uses the products in such a beautiful, fresh, natural way. I could suddenly see exactly how I would use their products too, and they felt far more approachable, so here we are. I picked up a few products in early 2019, then had quite the wish list heading into a Sephora VIB sale. A bit of background for you, Nude Sticks was founded in Canada in 2014 by two sisters, Taylor and Ali Frankel, and their mum Jenny. The brand is cruelty free and vegan, and everything they're releasing at the moment has been catching my eye. I'd love to hear if any of you have tried their new multi use lip plush paints. They look like my ideal sort of product. This video will run through all of the different product categories I've tried blush, bronzer, highlighter, eyeshadow, lipstick, and lip gloss, as well as some of their kits. Plus, there's a chance to win a couple of my favorite shades at the end of the video. Stay tuned for giveaway details. The Nude Sticks packaging in these little black aluminium tins with a mirror inside the lid is a nice idea to store your products or other bits and pieces inside, but it does become quite wasteful when you're buying multiple items. I'm glad they're aluminium, not plastic, but I'd love to see an option in future where you could purchase their products with or without the tin, because I'm sure this packaging contributes to the price too. In terms of application, although many of the formulas are more matte and therefore a bit more long lasting than other cream blushes I use, they're not a flat or dry matte. There's still a bit of sheen and a creamy look on the skin. I apply all of their products straight from the stick onto my skin and blend with fingers, which works best if your skin is still hydrated and dewy from your moisturizer and sunscreen. My blending technique for cream blush isn't really rubbing the products in, it's more like short upward quick swipes and strokes on my cheeks, up and out along my cheekbones towards my temples. I find the strokes work the product into the skin in a very natural way, but it might not suit everyone if you have other layers of makeup on underneath that you don't want to disturb. In that case, I've added a link down below to an Aussie beauty Instagrammer I love called Gracie Files, who recently shared her technique for applying nude sticks blushes with a stippling brush. There is also a little buffing brush hidden at the other end of each stick, which you can twist off to clean it or remove it entirely if you want to save some space. Let's start with my favorite nude sticks product family, the Nudies. They're all over color sticks, come in different blush and bronzer shades. They're perfect multitaskers, so I love using them on the eyes too. There are two formulas, Nudies Matte and Nudies Bloom. Let's start with the mattes. Kicking things off with my absolute favorite shade and top Nude Sticks product, Sunkissed. You've seen this many times on my channel and Instagram now, and it was in my 2019 Makeup Favorites video. This was my very first Nude Sticks product, the most beautiful blush slash bronzer and natural eyeshadow shade. It's called a coral bronze but I always describe it as a terracotta tone that's slightly rosy so it does look like you're naturally sun-kissed. I've heard from many of you who now love it too but this is a good reminder that the same color can look different on everyone. Some of you said it's quite pink on you, not terracotta at all, so skin tone and undertones always play a big part in how a shade comes across. Next, Sunset Strip, my second nude sticks purchase when I realized that this shade was designed by the same person who created Sunkissed. That was Mary Phillips, the celebrity makeup artist known for her work with Kendall Jenner, and these two tones seem to work really cohesively together. This is described as a soft coral nude, but it's really quite a bright, bold coral on me. Another one of my 2019 favorites was Salty Siren. This shade was created by the Canadian, London-based blogger Estée Lalonde in her collaboration with nude sticks. Her nude but not kit was exclusive to Selfridges in London, so I closed my eyes and hit pay on the painful international shipping. But the good news is her kit just landed on nudesticks.com this week, so it now ships to the US and Canada. And I've seen some hints that this shade will be sold separately soon too. Hopefully it'll keep expanding to more countries because I can't say enough good things about this perfect peach color. It's a great shade to freshen up the face and I've been wearing it on my cheeks and eyes all summer. Finally, In the Nude is a shade I'd been tempted by for years. It's been part of the Nude Sticks collection for a long time, but it was one of the colors I mentioned that seemed like it would look better on more tanned skin than mine. But shearing it out was the key for me. This is described as a neutral nude, but it's actually a fairly peachy nude on my skin. Lovely is a warm wash of color on the cheeks and eyes too. So in a better color order, that's Salty Siren, Sunset Strip, 
in the nude and sun-kissed. You can see what I mean about there still being some luminosity with these. They're not flat or dry mattes at all. Of course, I never wear them that intensely, so let's blend them into the skin for a more sheer look. I love cream products because they really do disappear into the skin and make you look like you're naturally flushed. So that's a more sheer look at Salty Siren, Sunset Strip, in the nude and sun-kissed. In May 2019, a new set of nude sticks blushes joined the family and I could not wait to get my hands on these. The hint is in the name of the Nudies Bloom All Over Dewy colour. They're much more fresh, sheer and dewy than the Nudies mattes. There are four shades and I purchased three. Sweet Peach Peony is my favourite Nudies Bloom shade. It's called a soft, warm peach with orange undertones and that's pretty spot on for me. A very, very light peach compared to Salty Siren. It's such a nice summery colour that brightens up your complexion. I love this shade on the eyes for a light catching, dewy look too, but it will crease a lot faster on the eyes than the nudies mattes. Tiger Lily Queen is called a sheer true coral. This one is bold and super bright on the skin. Definitely makes sense of the saying, a pop of colour. This one has slightly pinky tones on me, so it feels nice and cheery and fresh for spring. I'll sheer all of the shades out in a minute so you can see how I wear them. Poppy Girl is another shade created by Mary Phillips. This one is described as a vivid red toned coral and the red definitely comes out. This is a fun one to wear as a very sheer flush on your cheeks for a healthy summer blush and a little bit on your eyes too. You know I love red eyeshadows worn in a sheer way so this does it perfectly. There's Sweet Peach Peony, Tiger Lily Queen and Poppy Girl. I'm definitely a big fan of a dewy look but these are really quite dewy and glossy on the skin. A little bit goes a long way for me so I always start with a small amount and shear it out. Really patting it into the skin so it takes away any shine and just looks healthy. If you want even more of a glow on the cheeks than those Nudies Bloom shades, they've got you covered with highlighters too. I've tried two of their formulas. The Nudies All Over Face Color Bronze and Glow Sticks come in three shades. I got to try one in the mini nude skin kit I'll talk about later on. Hey Honey is a golden shade Taylor Frankel often raves about on her channel. This stick actually has a bit of a dewy, wet look and feel on the skin, but you can pat it in to tone it down too. A true golden highlight. The Nude Sticks Magnetic Nude Glimmers launched in May 2019. They're liquid highlighters in exactly the same packaging as their Lip Glacé glosses you'll meet in a minute. The shade 99% Angel came in Estée Lalonde's Nude Sticks kit and it's called a baby pink pearl. On me, not super pink, but definitely pearly and bright. It's nicely pigmented so I actually love wearing it all over the eyes to open them up and it lasts longer than the dewy highlighters I usually pat onto my eyelids. Now it's time for the actual eye products, the Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Colour Pencils. These come in two finishes luminous and matte and always include a sharpener that you can attach to the other end. These are designed to work as a shadow, liner and eyeshadow base in one if you want to lay a powder on top. I have three luminous and two matte pencils so let's get swatching. Starting with the magnetic luminous eye colours. Nudity was the eye selection in Estée's collaboration. It's described as a shimmery rose gold but on me it's quite a cool silvery champagne. Not much rose to it. I'll leave a link below to Estée applying her entire kit so you can see how this shade looks on her. Copper Foil is a beautiful metallic copper penny shade. Really quite a deep coppery golden tone on me so it certainly brightens up the eyes. There's very fine glitter in Copper Foil that I didn't notice in the other two luminous shades but it's more obvious when you blend this one out so it makes a bit more of a statement. Rustique is the shade that's the most me. It's called a rusty copper with golden shimmer, but I really don't notice much shimmer. It has more of a metallic finish with an overall glow. Definitely a much deeper tone than copper foil, and it has that slightly rusty burgundy red tone to it that I love. Great for a smoky liner look too. Now let's swap to the magnetic matte eye colour pencils. Terra is a shade I'd seen Taylor use on her channel and loved how subtle and natural it was. It's called a soft terracotta, but it's definitely much more of a sandy, almost putty brown on me. Almost a little bit peachy when I shear it out, so it works to make my green eyes pop. Fig is another shade I saw in action in Taylor's videos. It's called a matte plum brown, which is definitely an eyeshadow shade I'm drawn to. Not super plummy on me, just a nice chocolatey brown. Really quite a rich pigmented pencil. That was Nudity, Copper Foil, Rustique, Terra and Fig. One thing about these pencils is that they do not budge. If you do want to smudge them out with your fingers, you'll have to work quickly or they'll set in place. Here's a more sheer look at the shades too. The colours are really complementary if you want to mix and match, but I like keeping it simple with a wash of one pencil all over the lid. The luminous shades are all very easy to blend, but I do find the mattes can be a little bit more patchy. Time for lips. I've tried three formulas to talk you through. The Nude Sticks Nude Plumping Lip Glacé is their gloss formula. It's described as a moisturising lip oil, which would usually make me think of quite a lightweight texture, but this is really quite a thick traditional gloss. 
There are lip conditioning butters and vitamins inside so it feels comfortable and has a very pepperminty taste. Not particularly plumping on me but I love the shine and colour range. Four nudes for different skin tones and one red. Nude 06 is the third deepest shade, described as a cool toned dusty rose. But on me more of a brown nude with that hint of rose. This came in Estee's kit and was such a great pick, a nice subdued sophisticated shade that works in all seasons. I've been pleased by how pigmented these glosses are, not just high shine there's plenty of colour to. Nude Cherry was the first gloss I bought from the brand. Red is a colour I always love on the lips and I had a big lip gloss love affair last year so I wanted to try their formula. This has a real hit of bright cherry or raspberry red, kind of the amount of colour I wish the Glossier red lip gloss had. A really nice wash of red shine. I have two other types of Nude Sticks lip products here, their Lip and Cheek Pencil which has more of a creamy texture and looks like an actual pencil inside and the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil which is, as the name suggests, more matte. All of their lip pencils come with a sharpener attachment to put on the other end like the eye pencils but I like storing them separately so the packaging stays nice and slim. This is their Cream Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Mystic, the lip product pick from Estee's Nude But Not Kit. The brand describes it as a pale violet rose but to me this is quite a deep rose with with a hint of brown to it. It's really quite intense and very creamy when you draw it straight onto the lips. I tend not to wear this one on my cheeks because I love playing with the nudie sticks you saw earlier but I have been patting this onto my eyes for a pretty rosy shade. Then the intense matte lip and cheek pencil which is actually not as matte as I expected. It still feels comfortable, there's a slight tackiness to it when you press your lips together, not a powdery or dry feel at all. I picked up the shade Retro after seeing Taylor apply it in a tutorial. I'll link all of her videos I've mentioned down below by the way. This is such a beautiful warm mauvey ready brown shade, something you'll be no stranger to on my channel. This colour just feels cosy and autumnal to me. Nude Sticks often release their products in kits or collaborations, so to finish things off, I'll talk you through two of the kits I've tried. First, Estee Lalonde's Nude But Not Kit. This is the one I've been banging on about all this time. It all came together in a little red zip up pouch, a nice flat wide tin with a big mirror inside, and the individual blush. Her exclusive Nudies matte shade Salty Siren, the Magnetic Luminous Eye Colour in Nudity, Magnetic Nude Glimmer in 99% Angel, the Lip and Cheek Pencil in Mystic, and the Nude Lip Glacé in Nude 06. Such a nice assortment of shades overall, but Salty Siren and the Nude 06 gloss are definitely my favourites. And last but not least, this is the Nude Sticks Mini Nudies 3-piece kit. I bought one of these because it has two of my favourite shades inside, the Nudies Matte in Sunkissed and the Nudies Bloom in Sweet Peach Peony, so it's perfect for travel to pack these tiny little sticks instead. And it also comes with a Hey Honey highlighter. I liked the combination of products in this kit so much, I bought a brand new one to share with one of you. Head to my Instagram at MatildaOnVideo, details and the link to enter are listed in the description box below. Running this through Instagram as usual because it's the only way I can definitely contact the winner after you YouTube took away their private messaging. I'd love to hear if you're a fellow Nude Sticks fan. Maybe you've been a long-time lover of the brand or a later arrival to their multitasking makeup like I was. Please share your favourite formulas and shades in the comments and if you think I've missed any colours that seem like my cup of tea. Can't wait to see what else they come out with this year. Make sure you're subscribed for more brand overviews like this coming very soon. Thanks for watching, see you next time!